Welcome back. Boxers can back a mean punch, but do they have the mental capacity to play a game of chess all at the same time? Well, though she explores the allure of a new sport on the rise. Take a look. The physical aggression of a knockout and the determined mentality of a checkmate. Checkmate. Well, what do both these sports have in common? Well, chess boxing is what David Bitton hopes to make famous through his compelling documentary. Chess boxing was invented by a French artist, Inky Bilal, through a comic book in 1992. But this is how chess boxing intrigued David. How you came up with this documentary concept about chess boxing? <laughs> <laughs> It's as weird as it sounds. I, uh, I was reading an article. I was visiting my girlfriend here in Toronto. And uh, I was sitting in a cafe, picked up the newspaper, and uh, opened up the Globe and Mail. And there was uh, a photograph of two guys sitting at a chessboard with their shirts off in a boxing ring. One of them, his arms raised in victory. And I was looking at this photo, and my brain couldn't quite process what I was looking at. I was just like, what is this? <laughs> and I need to learn more. And there was a, luckily there was an article along with it. And uh, it was about chess boxing, and that's how I learned what chess boxing was. Let's get ready for chess boxing! Tell us about chess boxing. What exactly does it entail? Chess boxing is basically what it sounds like. It's alternating rounds of chess and boxing that take place in a boxing ring. So you start off with four minutes of chess. There's a chess board in the middle of the ring. And uh, the players sit down, they play, they play their opening moves. And uh, the bell rings after four minutes. They get up, they go to their corner. They have one minute to put on their gloves. They take the board out of the ring intact. They keep all the pieces in the place. And um, then the bell rings again. They come out and come out swinging. And they fight each other for three minutes. And uh, then you go back and forth until you have a winner by checkmate or by knockout. The Quebec native's journey to develop this documentary began in a rather unique way. The uh, inventor of chess boxing was retiring from fighting. He used to fight and he was doing his last fight. And uh, I thought this could be a good place to start the documentary. And so I called him up and he said, OK, come on down. You can film the event. And that's where I started uh, meeting everyone. That was in October 2010. I've been following it ever since. I've, since I've been to London five times, Berlin five times, San Francisco twice, LA three times, uh, Barcelona, all sorts of places just to follow, track the global development of chess boxing. So you talk about it as being a global sport. Uh, it's evolved especially in places like India, Berlin and London as you've mentioned. Tell me about this global phenomenon and the attraction it's getting from communities across the world. The World Chess Boxing Organization has been trying to promote the sport around the world and they've been doing little demonstration fights here and there and that piqued the interest of certain people who as they heard about it they wanted to pick it up and do it in their own city. And so you have a huge following in London, that's where the biggest club is in the world. And uh, now there's just last year a club started in India and um, they just had a world chess boxing competition, or not world, but within India. And uh, they had from different provinces all these uh, kids coming and competing in chess boxing. It was the first event of its kind. And uh, it's just kind of fascinating. In Siberia, there's a club, and they, I don't know what it is, they, but some people tend to dismiss it out of hand, whereas others just see the, the value in it and they think that it's really cool. I like chess, I like to remain active and, and boxing is cool and so it just kind of picks up. Here's just a tease of what part two of this global sport entails with our very own Canadian chess boxer. guy that you do follow is Sean Mooney. Tell me about his progression throughout this documentary. Um, Sean Mooney is interesting to me because he's the first Canadian chess boxer in the world. He fought in the Battle of the Bankers. Um, he fought uh, against another banker and he, um, they went the distance. They did this 11 round fight. It was uh, amazing. They were perfectly matched going back and forth on the chessboard. Things were flipping. Uh, the, the game was uh, totally changing all the time. It was super exciting. And uh, he came out and he won the Battle of the Bankers. So we have our first Canadian champion. Thanks, Pyle.